So we've hiked up this long arroyo, this dry wash bed, and have entered up into this canyon that the walls have kept getting steeper and higher on us. Beautiful place. We can hear canyon wrens singing this morning. And one of the things I love about photo expeditions is we, we have time. We take time to look at what we're seeing, take time with uh, playing with new techniques in photography. And one of the things that's enjoyable to do, and it's easy to do now with modern digital cameras, is to play with black and white or even sepia tone. This time of day, the sun's getting high overhead. The colors are kind of getting washed out. So instead of trying to get a color photo, it's fun to take a black and white and enunciate these pale Palo Blanco trees here and things like that. It's an easy technique and, and oftentimes gives a very interesting effect. One of the things you find when you start converting photos to black and white or doing it in your camera is the world looks rather different. We're reacting more to light areas and shadow, dark diagonal lines, and, and also different tonal qualities and things. You're no longer reacting to the color. So I think, I think all of us will agree that if you look at old black and white photos, Ansel Adam prints and things like that, they still speak to us to this day. There's a, a power to just the, the light and shadow that we see in the world around us, even without color. <laughs>